The Zoom is out. Motorola just released the first real competitor to the iPad. We're in the CNET Labs, as you can see. So we're gonna check out how each tablet handles website loading speed via Wi-Fi. Then we're gonna check out how each tablet handles 3D graphics and games. That's polygonal 3D, not glasses 3D. Let's get started. First up, we're going to CNET.com and we're gonna see how long each tablet takes to get there. And they're off. And the zoom is off to an early lead. It's, all right, the zoom is done. And we're still waiting for the iPad. The iPad is struggling. Okay, pictures are coming in. Uh, the zoom has been done for a few seconds now. And the iPad's done. Okay, that's CNET.com. Now we're going to CBSNews.com and uh, we're gonna see how this race turns out. And they're off. All right, Zoom is off to an early lead. It has most of the page loaded. It's still going. We're following the blue line at the top of the Zoom screen below the address bar. When that goes away, then we'll know that the page has been completely loaded. Same thing with the iPad. It has this blue bar as well that we're following. And both are still hanging. Looks like they have most of the page loaded, but they're both just hanging on that blue bar. Okay, the Zoom is done and the iPad is now done. Now we're gonna go to one of my favorite websites, giantbomb.com. We like this website a lot because it's very simple, doesn't have many dynamic elements. And uh, here we go. All right, and they're off. All right, the zoom is off to an early lead once again. It is done, and we're still waiting for the iPad, and the iPad is done now. Okay, giantbomb.com made it very fast on the zoom, as you can see. And now for 3D graphics. The iPad has a lot more aliasing than the Zoom. The Zoom is much smoother. This is a function basically of the Zoom having a higher resolution than the iPad. The Zoom, however, is more washed out while the iPad has deeper, richer colors. And there you have it. Overall, the Zoom had better website loading speed over Wi-Fi compared to the iPad. And thanks to its higher resolution, 3D games have the potential to look better as well. Stay tuned for CNET for even more tests coming down the pike.